Hello, if you know me, you know my preferences. And anyway, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel to join this community. You know that my must have the best products from Florence's are the palettes, especially the fun ones. And my favorite is this one. And the other product that I would recommend for Florence's are the blushes. And I purchased this one in the beginning that is called Peony Rosy number 03. A nice warm pink, like salmon pink. And this has a nice cream to powder texture. That is amazing, it's great. It seems very high hand. It's very smooth and blendable. You see, it's like a veil of matte flush on your cheeks if you put it on your cheeks, but I like it also on the eyes. It's very refreshing. It is one of the colors that I, I prefer to, to wear during spring. Since I love the formula so much, I purchased other two of them in my latest haul. And I chose number 11 and number nine. Number nine is a still sealed, so we will open it together. So the disadvantage of these blushes, I can't talk honestly with you, I purchased these myself. The disadvantage is that they're exactly the same packaging. I would have liked differentiation among them, but these were the first ones that had a plain pan, and now the newest ones have roses on them. So you have this one, I like this one because it was quite bright. So I think it's a nice color for summer. And I also picked the brownish one. It leans a bit too orange for my taste, but still a nice blush. So these are the two roses. Again, number nine, and this is number 11. And this is number three. And I like bright light blushes because I don't use the blushes for draping or for contouring my face. I like to put the blush right below my eyes to give that fresh effect. It's difficult to just pick the light color. It's warmer than the first one that is this one. And the rose ear is so bright, you see? So I'll put it here. And then you can mix the colors. You get something like this. Now the orangey one, it is this one. This is the bottom part. It is quite orange, you see. So I like the upper part here, this one, that has some peachiness. These one, two, three are this blush that is number nine. Then you get this middle one that is still my favorite, that is number three. And the last one, the more orangey one, nude orange, is this one. I would like the more sandy color. This is more orange, it's 11. Let me also make a mixture of the, the two colors. Let me see. So I hope this was clear because I found it's very difficult to find reliable swatches with focus on the colors. If you purchase online, it's better to know what, what are the colors, right? So these are amazing, are great, great quality blushes. The formula is one of my favorites. My favorite is still this one that is more cool toned. This number three, but these are nice addition. 
especially for summer. The other colors are more like raspberry, berry tones that are, are not my shades. I wish there was a sandy brownish color. But anyway, when I talked about this blush in one of my previous videos, I compared it to this Daniel Sandler watercolor blush in color Kiro. But at that time, I couldn't find the Rare Beauty blush in color Bliss. So I would like to compare the three because I think they are quite similar. These are liquid blushes. This is very watery, the Daniel Sandler one. And this is one of my favorite formulas for a cream blush. But I like the fact of this Daniel Sandler too, it's very elegant. So all of these are my favorite formulations. And it's quite convenient to have, you know, a pressed version that is cream to powder. This is great. You have that satin goldish you here that is not so evident. So this is the florists and I will put Rare Beauty on top and Daniel Sandler at the bottom. Okay. So the Rare Beauty, now that I'm seeing it, is warmer, is more orangey. The closest is still the Daniel Sandler. And once you blend the colors, yeah, uh, these are quite similar. So I happy to report that this by Rare Beauty is different. The Bliss one by Rare Beauty is closer to this one. So as you can see, this color and this color here are quite close. So Daniel Sandler is a dupe for the Florence's number three and Rare Beauty is a dupe for the Florist's number nine. I highly recommend these blushes if you like these colors because the formula is great. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.